Everyone says that the public transportation system here is not so good. Is, it, is that true? Is that true? Head nod, of course. Uh, in Chicago, uh, we, have a, we have a fairly decent public transportation system. And I like, uh, I like riding the train because I like people watching. <laughs> I like that term, too, because you're like... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was watching you. Can I smell your coat? <laughs> But uh, so I was on the train, you know, and I, I, I was watching this girl. She was having the most incredible cell phone conversation I'd ever heard. I mean, it was pretty good. <laughs> now, uh, I don't remember all of it, but uh, this is what I do. So across the way from there is this dude reading a book. I'll be playing the parts of the girl, myself as a watcher, and the gentleman reading the book. Okay, here we go. <laughs> if you love him, fight for him. If you don't, you gotta fight to get away, girl. <laughs> I don't have an opinion. She didn't have an opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying, if he disrespect you, fuck him. Hold on a minute. No, hold on a minute. She puts the phone down. She leans across the aisle. She goes, excuse me. That is a great book. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to tell you this whole time, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, rock out that read. <laughs> Where were we? What? I mean, come on. I didn't know the name of that book. So I asked the guy, and it turns out the name of the book was If You Love Him, Fight for Him. <laughs> 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 we have this thing in Chicago on the, on the trains. Uh, there's these signs that say, Make clean your routine. Because everybody pitches in, the, the trains are clean, you know what I mean? And I said, you're goddamn right, I'll do it. <laughs> so, this, so this guy, he's getting off, he's getting off the train, he, he drops his paper. I'm like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> you seem to have dropped your paper. And I gave it to him, I tipped my imaginary cap to him. Uh, this homeless guy was getting off the train, I go, excuse me, sir. You seem to have forgotten your smell. <laughs> <laughs> And then there was this woman with these asshole kids. And they're like running around, they're throwing shit, and they're just like bothering everybody. I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, but you seem to have dropped your parental responsibility. Pick it up. Or I will. <laughs> it's Tony Sam, you just watch me on effinfunny.com. Can I smell your coat?